following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. Good evening from Waynedale. Highland comes in with a record of 15 and 6, winners of five games in a row. And they're taking on a second ranked Waynedale out of Division 3. Waynedale unbeaten at 20 and 0 on the season. Stay tuned for the pregame show on WKLM. When it comes to the service of your farm equipment, your one stop shop should be at Buckeye Farm and Garden. In their full service garage, they can work on any construction tractor, farm equipment, or fleet service. And check out their shop for their selection of construction and farm equipment to rental equipment. Buckeye Farm and Garden will try to get you what you need to get the job done. Whether it's farm equipment, parts, or service, stop by Buckeye Farm and Garden, located off State Route 39 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Check them out at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call 674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment connection. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling, that's it, happy feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, Coach. I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. Hi, this is Joel Gauss, and I'm pleased to announce the opening of a second Premier Pharmacy location inside Rhodey's IGA in Millersburg. That's two locations to serve Holmes County even better. Most insurance, including all alt care and primetime plans, will be accepted immediately during our soft open. Don't wait until your next doctor's appointment to start experiencing the Premier difference. We can easily transfer your active prescriptions from whatever pharmacy you currently use. That's Premier Pharmacy in Berlin, and now also in Millersburg, your community pharmacy. Come to the Coppin Realty and Auctions Absolute Snyder Online Only Real Estate Auction in Ranch Home in Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. with extended bidding. This auction has a ranch home with two bedrooms and two baths, along with a bonus unfinished walkout basement on a 78 by 96 city lot at 228 Oak Street Southwest in Sugar Creek. For more information, contact Kurt Yoder at 330-204-2447. That's the Coppin Realty and Auction Absolute Cider Online Only Real Estate Auction and Ranch Home in Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. Visit Coppin-Auctions.com. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Before the tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. Alongside Highland Lenny Hawks head basketball coach Jason Mischler coming off that 53-30 win over Fairless back in the IVC Showcase on Saturday. Down 12-10 after the first quarter. You outscored them 29-9 in the second and third quarters combined. Jason, what turned things around for your team? Yeah, you know, I, we just I, I felt like we missed a couple shots that we were capable of making there in the first quarter, and I thought, you know, I, I just we, we were confident. I thought things were going our way. The scoreboard might have not necessarily shown that. 
Uh, but we felt good about where we're at as a team from a scout, scouting report and things that were happening on the floor. So I just say biggest thing, you started making shots and, and a, a run's going to come eventually. So. Their big post player, 6'2", Grace Lyon, that came in averaging 18 a game, held her, I think, four points in that game. What was the biggest difference for that just for defensively against her? Yeah, I mean, we, I thought we did a good job of collapsing on her as a team and just making her feel uncomfortable with our voice and from, from the help weak side and stuff. But I, I just think Ayla, you know, we, we feel really confident. She's learned how to not foul. And I know, uh, you know, Grace really looks for contact, and Ayla did a great job of staying straight up. And those are things that she wasn't doing earlier in the year. And, you know, I would just attribute most of that to Ayla and then uh, some of our other, just, just our, our philosophy there defensively collapsing on the post. A lot of good things from the last game. Obviously, from the, the downer side of things, Mal was just went down to the injury. You talk about big care where she's at at this point. Yeah, Mal, she's getting her MRI, um, get, gets, the, gets that results back here. But, you know, she's not going to be with us tonight in that practice. But, you know, it's just hearing that and seeing that, obviously, it's a huge blow for our team. But, you know, I just remember Coach Reese, he would always say, hey, the dogs bark and the caravan moves on. So you just, you know, what are you going to do? You, you, the, the caravans keep moving, so we, we got to keep moving as well. So. Keep moving against this Wayne Dale team. Of course, unbeaten this year, 20-0, second-ranked team in Division Three. What makes this Wayne Dale team so good? You know, I mean, obviously, they're on a roll. They're, they're extremely well coached. You know, they have an identity of who they are, who, who shoots what shot when. Um, you know, like I said, they're well coached. They just they're on a roll. They they have that confidence from last year. So it's a, just a huge challenge for us. Just to get a chance to play a team like this into the regular season before the tournament, how valuable is that here for this Highland team? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I thought you know, anytime you get to play a good team, it's it's outstanding. You know, it's a huge challenge, and that's why our kids play the game is for these type of games. With all that said, Jason, if you're going to have a chance to get a win tonight, what's going to have to happen on the Highland side? Yeah, it's going to, you know, we expect a low-scoring game. Both teams are really good defensively. So I, there's just going to be a lot of little big plays, you know, plays that the, the little in terms of people might not recognize them. A box out here, a deflection here, um, some, forcing the kid right when she wants to go left, those type of things. Uh, I think that's what these type of games come down to. So obviously it'll help to make a shot here and there too. Jason, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. Yep, thank you. That's the voice of Highland Hawks and basketball coach, Jason Mishler. Before the Tip has been brought to you by Village Motor of Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Fox's Pizza Den in Millersburg is looking for smiling faces to join their team. Day shifts are available six to seven hours per day, six days a week. Successful candidates will need the following skills, the ability to work as a team, self-motivated, dependable, customer-focused, and able to follow directions with limited supervision. If you are interested, stop by the store at 42 North Grant Street to pick up an application. Fox's Pizza Den is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. 
Home is not a place. It's not something you can touch. Home is a feeling, and Danbury is home. Here at Danbury Senior Living, we offer comfort, support, and security for the next chapter in life for you or your loved one. Our team members form lifelong bonds with our residents and their families. When it's time to take the next step, stop by our communities in Millersburg and Worcester for a tour. Visit DanburySeniorLiving.com for more information. We can't wait to meet you. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. In Division Three, and almost faced each other in the state championship as Highland was a 26-1 rolling into the state semifinals where they would defeat Cincinnati Purcell Marion by a score of 47-40. Then Waynedale in their state semifinal matchup, they would fall to Ottawa Glandorf in that game by a score of 46-36 to knock them out of the tournament in that state semifinal. So Highland, instead of playing Waynedale, they would play Ottawa Glandorf in the state championship, and the Lady Hawks would get that win, of course, last year to capture the Division Three state championship. They won at 45 to 25, the win last season's Division Three state title. Of course, two seasons ago, Highland faced Wayne Dale back at the Reese Center, and Highland won that game two years ago, defeating them 70 to 50 in that matchup. We'll take a break. We'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. You can now shop True Value Hardware at Homes Lumber in Millersburg. In fact, it's the only true value store in Holmes County. They have added literally thousands of items to their inventory, including Easy Care Paint, making it easy for you to find everything you need for your next project. Holmes Lumber is located on State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Behind every project is a true value. If you're looking for more insulation, then stop by MRV Siding Supply for top-rated Bywinco windows. Bywinco offers black windows carrying more argon gas, which gives you 30% more insulation value. Bywinco windows also have standard double strength, increasing noise reduction. That's MRV Siding Supply in Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Next time you're in a Subway restaurant and you're looking for a little extra snack to top off your favorite footlong sub, why not add a soft, chewy, and oh-so-delicious Subway cookie? They're available in four tasty flavors, so maybe a dozen would be better. And all Subway cookies are baked fresh daily, and that helps make them the most loved cookie in America. And did we mention they're available in a platter? Take a variety to your next party or event. Subway cookies, the perfect way to finish your next Subway meal. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education Foundation has awarded more than $9 million in scholarships to residents pursuing higher education. Scholarships for the 2021-2022 academic year will be available on our website at www.hcef.net starting in January. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at Kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at Kime.express. Kime. Built on trust since 1911. Highland has six losses on the season. Fell to Newark in the first game of the year, 52-33. to Then won four games in a row. Then he lost to Tusky Valley, 40-35 to at Tusky Valley. And then we win three straight. Then at the Lady Vikings Classic at Hoover, they would fall to Matt Lebanon out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 55-47. A loss also to Blackhawk out of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, 53-49 in that loss. 
and then after that would win three straight before losing 40 to 25 at the Classic in the country, going down to South Bend, Washington, Indiana in that game, and then a loss to Sheridan at the Classic, 33 to 27. Since that Classic loss, however, all victories for this Lady Hawk basketball team. They've won five games in a row. They have a record of 15 and six on the season. For Waynedale, all wins this year, unbeaten at 20 and 0. The Lady Golden Bears are ranked second in the Division Three pool. Waynedale was averaging 52 and a half points per contest. Highland averaging 45 and a half. And defensively, the Lady Golden Bears allowing just under 30 a game. Highland giving up 35 and a half points per contest on the defensive end. Waynedale, of course, the Wayne County Athletic League champions, while Highland, they finished up with a share as co-champions in the IVC South, sharing that with Tusky Valley, each team splitting a game with one another during the regular season. So Tusky Valley and Highland both going 11-1 to capture the co-championship in the IVC South division this year. Garraway went 7-5, Sandy Valley 5-6, Claymont 5-7, Ridgewood and Indian Valley both 1-11. In the IVC North Division, Stralsburg won that outright, going 11-0. After that, it was TCC, who went 9-2. And in second place in the IVC North, Malvern 6-5. Buckeye Trail, a record of 6-6. East Canton, 4-7. Newcomers down 1-10. And Connaughton Valley at 0-7. In the Ohio Cardinal Conference, West Holmes, with the win tonight at Lexington, they would clinch the outright. OCC Championship for a second straight year. They've already clinched at least a share of the OCC title. They're 10 and one. Worcester right behind them, they're nine and two. While Mount Vernon is seven and four. Mansfield Senior is six and six. Madison is four and seven. Lexington a record of two and nine in conference play. Ashland is one and 10. Overall around the area in girls basketball, West Holmes has a record of 16 and three overall. Lanaville is 14 and four. While Danville is 14 and five. Garraway a record of 10 and 10. And Triway a record of 10 and 10. Of course, Highland comes out of the Division Three East 2's district, and for the upcoming tournament for them, they'll be the 2 seed. They'll take on the 17 seed Coshocton at the Reese Center on Thursday, February 17th at 7 o'clock. The winner of that game will face either 10 seed Garraway or the 5 seed Sandy Valley in the district semifinals on Wednesday, February 23rd at a neutral site. And for Waynedale, they're out of the Division Three Worcester district uh, for them, and they're the top seed in that district, and they'll be playing host to the 21 seed Oberlin on February 16th at 7 p.m. to begin their uh, tournament play. Stay tuned, more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. You can never go down the wrong trail when you go to Millersburg Tire Service. They have the best brands, along with the most experienced tire experts in the area. When it comes to tires and holes in surrounding counties, pick the right trail and drive the Millersburg Tire Service. They've been getting the job done right for 68 years. That's Millersburg Tire Service, located off State Route 39, east of Millersburg. Call 674-1085. With tightening budgets and resources, schools face a daunting task these days, providing young people with all they need to equip them for the years ahead. Denko Marketing in Millersburg urges you to support our students and youth in whatever way you can. Whether it's the giving of your time and experience or donating items for use by educators, groups, or clubs, everyone can make a difference. Denko Marketing of Millersburg hopes you're giving back to the young people of today. Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Stop it all this week for big game savings at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get 81% lean ground chuck for $3.99 a pound. Pork shoulder western style ribs for $1.98 a pound. One pound sweet red rice strawberries for $3.48 each. Green broccoli crowns for $1.48 a pound. Assorted varieties of DiGiorno pizzas for $4.88. And Utz potato chips, buy one, get one free. And don't forget about the great Valentine's Day specials at the Posey Pad Floral Shop at Rody's IGA. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619.
At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MBB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Other girls games around the area tonight has West Holmes at Lexington. Again, West Holmes are trying to go for an outright OCC title with a win tonight. Garraway's at TCC. Triway playing host to Fairless. And Johnstown Moreau is at Lanaville. Mack Royal alongside Troy Fritz from tonight's contest. Highland is at unbeaten Wayne Hill in second ranked in Division Three. And, Troy, this should be a fun one between two really a good basketball teams. Well, you got two of the best teams in the area playing here together tonight. And, uh, I mean, we, we expect a great game here tonight. Wayne Dale having a tremendous seal. Highland, Highland, as usual, playing great basketball. This will be a good matchup. You see, Wayne Dale, obviously a terrific season. But Highland, uh, they haven't been afraid to play those good teams throughout this year. No, and that's what makes good teams better. Highland will stack up against anybody on you know, any given night. So, you know, they put good teams on their schedule for the purpose of getting better. That's all about prepping for tournament time, and that's right around the corner, Matt. For, for Wayne Dale, obviously a lot of good players to, to look at, but certainly Alyssa Geiser, 5'7", sophomore guard. We saw her on Saturday, and she can really knock it down from the outside. Well, when Alyssa Geyser gets in the front court, she's in range. She can shoot the ball from outside, but, you know, she's got a great supporting cast around her, too, and, uh, you know, just a lot of great athletes on the floor for this Wayne Dale team, and they play great defense. They play play great defense. That's what Jason Mishler talked about. Really, both teams play great defense. That's what it's really going to come down to. Great defense. We talked about uh, maybe turnovers was kind of a difference in that game on Saturday. West Holmes and uh, Wayne Dale's, and you kind of believe that might could be a possible difference tonight. It was, and in that Saturday game, it was definitely about Wayne Dale's defense. They forced the tempo with their defense, and they're going to do the same thing to Highland tonight. So Highland's going to have to be ready for that defensive pressure, what, High, what Wayne Dale's going to throw at them. They'll see some press. They're going to see some double teams and traps in the half court. So Wayne Dale's got to be on their A game tonight. And obviously, uh, defense being a, a key tonight. You know, Jason Mitchell mentioned something else, the fact that uh, playing defense and playing tough defense without fouling. That's kind of a, a skill also, and, and certainly Highland's done better with that throughout the course of this year as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and, and a lot of the, the officials are going to call the game the way they call it, but when you play good defense, you're going to be more foul prone. So, you know, that could certainly be a factor tonight, Matt. We'll see what happens. We'll take a break, and Troy Fritz will have tonight's starting lineups, then the opening tip on WKLM. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Do your New Year's resolutions involve becoming a better saver? CSB can help with that. Our website provides tips and guides for getting started, and our money manager tool with an online banking will help keep you on track. The budget tool creates a custom plan based off your last three months of spending, helping to tailor your budget to your lifestyle. Let CSB help you find success in sticking to your budget. The Commercial and Savings Bank, member FDIC. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Hi, 
I'm Zach Noble from Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. At Holmes Wayne Electric, our staff embraces the community we serve. We serve on local boards, we coach youth sports, and we donate to causes benefiting our local veterans, law enforcement, and hospitals. But that's just our employees. Over 7,200 of our members round their bill up every month to donate to our Operation Roundup Foundation. Since 2006, our foundation has given back over $830,000 to our community. We're not just keeping your lights on, we are taking the power of caring hearts to make a difference. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. Come to the Coppin Realty and Auctions Absolute Snyder Online Only Real Estate Auction in Ranch Home in Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. with extended bidding. This auction has a ranch home with two bedrooms and two baths, along with a bonus unfinished walkout basement on a 78 by 96 city lot at 228 Oak Street Southwest in Sugar Creek. For more information, contact Kurt Yoder at 330-204-2447. That's the Coppin Realty and Auction Absolute Signer Online Only Real Estate Auction in Ranch Home in Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. Visit Coppin-Auctions.com. For all your heating needs this winter, call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Rheem Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Rheem and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. And tonight's starting line is being brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Middlesburg. If your car is damaged, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now for tonight's starting lineups, here's Troy Fritz. And thank you very much, Matt. Starting tonight for the Lady Hawks from Highland High School, they'll go with a six-foot senior forward in Ayla Miller, five-foot eight-inch senior guard in Jenna Troyer, five-six sophomore guard Ashley Mullet. 5'8", senior guard, and Tegan Harris. And getting the start tonight is 5'6", senior freshman, Trish Troyer for the Lady Hawks. And for the home team tonight, the Waynedale Lady Golden Bears. They'll go with 5'7", sophomore guard, and Alyssa Geyser. 5'5", senior guard, Cheryl Lynn Miller. 5'9", senior guard, Elise Yoder. 5'7", senior forward in Brooklyn Yoder. And the 5'11", senior center in Jewel Persinger for the Waynedale Lady Bears. And for Waynedale, the second-ranked team in Division Three, they are unbeaten on the year, 20-0 on the season. They're coached by Rick Geyser. And for the Highland Lady Hawks, a record of 15-6. They've won five games in a row. They're coached by first-year head basketball coach, and that is Jason Mishler. And tonight's starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs, and will have your car looking brand new. They'll even pay up to $500 off your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 674-1483. Mack Way alongside Troy, for the, Troy Fritz for the broadcast, and it is Dakota Patterson back at WKLM Sports Central on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. We're also video live streaming the game tonight on the WKLM Facebook and YouTube pages. Of course, that is courtesy of Claxon Communications. Casey Claxon producing tonight's video stream, and also Emma Merriman is working the cameras, again, providing full video for tonight's broadcast. If you'd like to check out that broadcast, you can check that out on our social media, WKM on Facebook and YouTube, to uh, check out the video stream as far as tonight is concerned. Highland taking on Wayne Dale, and a pretty good crowd on hand for these two teams. Yeah, for an early start tonight, no GV game, mates. We're tipping off early, but yeah, the gym's filling up, and uh, people still struggling in, so I think by the time we get underway here, this place will be pretty well full, Matt. No doubt about that, as it should be, which will be these uh, two uh, basketball absolutely. teams. And Wayne Dale wearing their home white jerseys, white shorts, gold numerals, and also brown trim as well. Highland wearing their road black jerseys and black shorts and also their um, red numerals and red in white trim. And jumping for Highland is going to be Ayla Miller, the Akron commit, a six-foot senior. And getting set to jump it off for Wayne Dale. That's the much smaller Alyssa Geyser. She's a five-foot-seven sophomore. Just about ready for the opening toss from Wayndale. 
There it is. And there is the toss. It'll be won by Highland. It will be finally chased down by Ashley Mullet as she'll call out the play going right to left across the half court line. Highland basketball left wing in the pass goes to Trish Sawyer getting the start out top for Highland in the injured place of the injured uh, Mallory Sussman for tonight. That pass goes to Jenna Stutzman on the left wing. Pass left to the foul line. It's off the hands of Ayla Miller. There's a turnover for Highland. And Wayndale basketball across the half court line. Here's the dribble at center circle. Left wing now, Cheryl and Miller. Her pass goes right to the foul line, Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder wraps the pass to the right block, intended that time for Miller, but goes out of bounds. Turnover each way to start things off. Highland basketball on the back baseline. It'll be 5'8", senior guard Jenna Troyer to in Bennett. Came in averaging 5.1 points per game. Yeah, they chained the, the possession arrow. The official caught uh-huh. that, so good recognition by the official. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know what they was looking at. Fulker pressure is on, embedded to Ayla Miller in the backcourt. Dribbles it at three-quarter score. And now takes it across the timeline for the Lady Hawks. Miller takes it out top. Shovels behind the left side, Trish Troyer. Another quarter of Jenna Troyer. Takes it to the baseline. She's cut off to the left block. Backs it in. Up and under move. Her shot left hand, no good, but she draws to actually going to call her for travel. A little movement from that pivot foot, says the official. That'll be the second Highland turnover. A little pregame jitters here, I think, by both teams. There's a lot on the line here. Nothing in terms of uh, tournament draws or nothing like that, but a little pride on the line here, Matt. No doubt about that. Fulker pressure on by Highland. And Fulker pressure being shown each way early on. Wayne Neal will beat it across the timeline here. Sherilyn Miller picks it up. Missed the pass far side, Elise Yoder. On the left wing, Brooklyn Yoder. Holds on to it. Scoreless game early on. Pass left to the foul line. Goes to Alyssa Geyser. Pulls up for a three-pointer now for the top of the key. No good. On the fork, gets her own rebound. Now to Brooklyn Yoder, into the right corner. Kicks it high on the right side. Now to Elise Yoder, left wing in the pass. Now to Joel Persiner, dribbles it high on the left. Between the circles now to Elise Yoder. Crossover to the left point, picks it up. Hands it off Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder dribbles it high on the right side. Gets the handoff over to Elise Yoder. Yoder guarded by Ayla Miller. Dumps it inside to Brooklyn Yoder, back in the corner. A three-pointer high in the air, gonna be knocked down by Sherilyn Miller, and now Wayno gets a 3-0 lead. Good spot-up shot there by Sherilyn Miller down the left wing. Highland ball on the other end, pass to Trish Troyer to the corner. Left point now, Ayla Miller. Miller dribbles it to the foul line. Into the corner, three-pointer by Tegan Harris is gonna be in and out, no good. Rebound grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder. Wayno basketball, they have a 3-0 advantage. Six minutes to play first quarter, and across the timeline, here's Alyssa Geyser. Averaging 13.2 a game and six rebounds per contest. Pass right of the foul line, Brooklyn Yoder. On the right wing, Joel Persinger. And a Brooklyn Yoder around the foul line once again. Dribbles it out top. 3-0 to Wayne Deal. That pass deflected back to her off the hands of Ayla Miller. Now Yoder has it again out top. Her pass near midcourt goes to Geyser. Geyser with the basketball for Wayne Deal. Her pass goes left wing, Sherilyn Miller. Out top of the pass to Persiner. Over to Elise Yoder. Dribbles it right of the foul line. Into the corner to Persiner. Drive. Out top pass goes to Brooklyn Yoder. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound goes to Ashley Mullet for Highland. She'll race it across the half goal line. Drive. Back to the corner goes to Harris. Right wing Ayla Miller. Her three-pointer is going to be in and out. No good. Rebound to the four. Dove after. Grabbed by Jenna Troyer. Her pass in midcourt stolen back away. And by a diving Joel Persiner. And now Wayndale has the basketball and a big cheer by the Wayndale crowd. And Wayndale has it on the left wing. Pass goes to Persinger on the left side. Out top of the pass down to Elise Yoder. Dribbles it. Goes over to Brooklyn Yoder at the top of the key. Takes it to the right wing. Gets the handoff now over to Elise Yoder. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound trickles to the corner. Goes out of bounds. And it'll be Highland basketball down 3 nothing. We expect a good defense. We've gotten a good defense so far. Absolutely. And Wayne Dale, as you can see, they're not afraid to come out here and throw up the three. They've shot four of them already, Matt. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Homeless Siding Contractors. Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Highland ball, Jenna Troyer out top. Gets the handoff to Ayla Miller. Now to Ashley Muller with the high on the right side. Abby Miller checking in for Highland. That pass goes to Jenna Troyer. Left wing the pass to Trish Troyer. Dribbles it, Al top there with it now to Ayla Miller. Dribbles it, crossover to the foul line. On the left wing back to Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer going to be knocked down by the freshman. They'll tie the game up at three apiece. And that's why she's in the lineup. They've, they've looked at this all year from Trish. She's a good outside shooter, and they, she gets them right back in the ball game. Certainly is. Wayne Dale has the basketball on the right wing. Goes to Jewel Persiner. Four minutes to play, first quarter. Al top to Brooklyn Yoder. 
Dribbles it to the left point. Again, guarded by Ayla Miller. Gets the handoff now high on the left side. Over to Kylie Nussbaum, who's in the game now for Wayne Neal. To the corner. Little runner with the left hand by Geyser. No good. Rebound. Ripped down by Ashley Mullet. Long pass goes to a streaking. Chris Troyer, her layup is good. What a look on the pass by Ashley Mullet. The bucket by Troyer. Highland their first lead at 5 3. Yeah, two Highland guards running the floor and getting it done. And it'll be Wayne Dale basketball across the timeline. Here's Alyssa Geyser with it. Her pass left point. Proceed now by Lacey Walters in the game now. Dribbles it right of the foul line. Back of the right wing. Here's the dribble on the right point. And the pass goes out top. I mean, he knocked away to chase back down to midcourt. Half court violation on Geyser. She said it was deflected uh, by Troyer, but the official said she regained it in time to get that half court violation. Yeah, the Geyser picked that up in the front court and then stepped in the back court line. I saw what the official saw. So it will be a turnover. Now, officials are conferring that last play, so we'll see if they come to a different conclusion. 3.24 to play in the first quarter, a 5 3 Highland lead. And it looks like they will indeed stick with that call. And in for Highland is going to be Joplin Yoder, 5'11", freshman for the Lady Hawks, joining Trish Troyer, Ayla Miller, also Abby Miller, and Ashley Mullet. Inbound to Mullet in the backcourt. Highland a two-point lead. Mullet dribbles it now across the timeline. At center circle to the left wing. Mullet drive. Runner by Mullet. Off the last going to be good and a foul. What a drive and bucket. Ashley Mullet and... She'll have a chance for a three-point play at the foul line. Nice, quick first step, and they didn't expect her to explode to her left the way she did, but what a move by Ashley Mullet. 7-3 Highland. All of a sudden, a 7-0 Highland run. First team foul, Wayne Deal. Loose bomb her first. Free throw knocked down by Mullet. She has three. Highland an 8-0 run now. The Lady Hawks have a five-point lead. This Wayne. Wayne, yeah, this Wayne Dale defense will try to force you outside a lot, but it creates those dribble drive opportunities, and actually just took advantage of that. Certainly did. Ash, Wayne Dale basketball. Here's Cheryl Miller's pass. Goes to the left wing. Now a new spawn. Shovels it out top. Grabbed by Elise Yoder. Back to the left wing. Here's the dribble. Now three-pointer by Cheryl and Miller. It's going to be off the mark. Rebound going to be fought for. Going to be tied up. And the arrow going to point, I believe, to Wayne Dale. They'll keep the basketball. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway at 995 South Washington Street in Middlesbrough. Ashley Highland going to have the basketball instead. Never say no, wait a second, it should be Wayne Deal. <laughs> nice try, but I think it's going to be Wayne Deal basketball. <laughs> Give Ashley Maul a little credit there. She just tried to throw that in and play ball. No doubt about it. So, indeed, it is the white shirts there who will go. have it. Alyssa Geyser will do the honors of in and this ball. Looking, looking. End of the quarter goes to Brooklyn Yoder. Back to Geyser. Her three-pointer is going to be knocked down. Geyser, her first three points, and now Wayne back to within two. Yeah, quick trigger on the three-pointer. Knocks it down. Snapping an 8-0 Highland run. Here's Trish Troyer. Spins around a bit too many times. That'll be a travel. And that double team for Waynedale pays off for the third Highland turnover. Yeah, Waynedale will do that every opportunity they get. They're going to come get you in the corner wherever that double team can happen. They'll jump it. 8-6 Highland, 2.40 to play in the first quarter. Waynedale has the basketball. In bat in the backcourt to Sherilyn Miller. Surveys the defense by Ashley Mullet. Now three-quarters court. Miller will take it across the half-court line. Now to the left wing. Miller still with it. Spins around. Picks it up now. Gets a pass out top. Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder on the right point to the foul line. Backs it into the paint. Now top goes to Geyser. Her three-quarter high in the air. Going to be in and out. No good. Rebound fall for and grabbed inside by McKenna Bainey. Three-pointer now by Geyser. is going to be no good. Rebound by Brooklyn Yoder again. Now top Geyser. Three-pointer again by Geyser. This time is going to be good. 9-8 Waynedale. Geyser try, try, try again. She finally knocked it down. Third time was a charm, and she's got another one. Two of them for her early on. Second lead change, Highland basketball. Pass goes to the corner. Now to Jenna Troyer on the left wing. Knock loose. Troyer picks it back up. Gets the hand up to Ashley Mullen now high on the left side. Now Wayne Dale on a 6-0 run. Mullen with the left wing for Highland. Cross court pass goes to Tegan Harris. Right block inside the drop. The other off her leg though and out of bounds. Turnover on Highland. And that'll be their fourth of this first quarter. Ayla Miller is in and replacing Abby Miller. 143 to play first quarter. 9-8 Wayne Dale. In bound of the Cheryl and Miller in the backcourt. Again, working it against Ashley Mullet. Miller across the timeline. Bounce pass goes high on the left side. Who's the noose bomb? On the left wing, the Elise Yoder. Whips the pass out top to Geyser. Her three-pointer goes high in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound knocked to the floor. Grab this time by Ayla Miller. Highland ball down by one. Ashley Mullet into the front court. 
Dribbles it out top. Mullen thought about it. Pass instead goes left wing. Jenna Troyer. Troyer looking. Now dribbles it to the foul line. To the paint. Troyer, runner off the glass. Coming no good. Rebound goes to Brooklyn Yoder. Wayne Doe basketball. Cheryl and Miller across the timeline. Goes right wing with it. Now three-pointer by Geyser going to be knocked down. Geyser red hot. Her third three-pointer. 12-8 Wayne Dale. Yeah, three of seven for a while. Was she a long way out on the right wing? Pass inside the paint goes to Joplin Yoder. Her shot up in the air going to be in and out. No good. Rebound goes to Geyser. Golden Bears basketball in a four-point lead. 47 seconds to play first quarter. Half pass out top, Elise Yoder on the right wing, the Geyser. Out top of the pass goes to Cheryl Miller. Dribbles at foul line. Lane. Pass goes to the corner now. A three-pointer by Newsbaum is going to be knocked down. Kylie Newsbaum. It's raining threes for Waynedale in the first quarter. 15-8, Lady Golden Bears lead. 30 seconds to play first quarter. Highland had an 8-3 lead in Waynedale since then on a 12-0 run. Mullen at center circle, drinks it right wing. Inside goes to Tegan Harris. Her layup is good. Tegan Harris, her first two. Highland stopping the bleeding. And now Wayne Dale basketball up 15 10. Head of the front court. Here's Miller. Five seconds from the left wing. Pass goes to the quarter. Three pointer by Elise Yoder. Going to be no good. Rebound put back by Newsbaum. No good at the buzzer. Rebound to Ashley Mullen. And that'll close out the first quarter. At the end of one, it's Wayne Dale 15 and Highland 10. This is girls' IVC basketball on WKLM. Hi, this is Kevin Maltrich. As former West Holmes High School graduate, player, and coach, I understand what hometown is all about. That's why I'm excited to be part of a great sales team here at your hometown dealership, Village Motors in Millersburg. As a husband and father of three, it's important to find a vehicle that's a right fit for your family. No one can do better than Village Motors. So next time you're looking for a new or pre-owned vehicle, stop by and see me, Kevin Maltrich, at Village Motors in Millersburg. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at Kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at Kime.express. Kime. Kime Built on trust since 1911. First quarter numbers courtesy of Troy Fritz. So the difference certainly behind the three-point line as Waynedale going 5 of 13 from downtown. It actually did not make a two-point shot, but that was enough to get this five-point advantage. Highland just one for three from a three-point range. Highland three of five from two-point range. Waynedale I mentioned 0 for two. Highland one for one from the foul line. Waynedale did not attempt the foul shot. And Waynedale out uh, rebounding Highland eight to six. Four turnovers for Highland, two for Waynedale in that first quarter of play. Highland basketball to begin the second quarter. Here's Jenna Troyer, takes the left wing. Now her three-pointer's up in the air. That's going to be off the mark. Rebound to the four, going to be 5-4 chased down by McKenna Bainey. Waynedale basketball. Now across the timeline, Cheryl and Miller's pass. Goes high on the left side of the noose bomb. Back in the left wing, Brooklyn Yoder has it. Guarded by Ayla Miller. Out top of the pass to Bainey. Head fake, dribbles it to the foul line. Her shovel shot off the last, no good. Rebound grabbed by Ayla Miller, and she goes down. After the rebound, she was pushed. And that's going to be the second Waynedale foul in this first half of play. Crossover vehicle owners, there's a tire just for you. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to see the all-season Yokohama g G055. Contact Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg, Spencer, Mount Vernon, in Lannanville. That foul was called on number 34, Joel Persinger, her first. Highland basketball, here's Ashley Mullet, drive. Runner by Mullet, 10 feet away, no good. Rebound to the four, into the hands of Sherilyn Miller. She'll cross the half court line. Miller at center circle, pass over to Geyser. On the left wing, now over to the far end, over to Persinger. Out top of the pass, down to Brooklyn Yoder. She'll trot herself to the right wing, picks it up. Good tonight defense by Jenna Troyer. Into the corner now to Bainey. Bainey to the baseline. Cross court pass, received by Miller. Left wing to Persinger, out top now to Geyser. Geyser backs it up, lobs the left wing to Cheryl and Miller. Left corner to the Joel Persinger. Guarded tightly by Tegan Harris. Out top to Geyser now. Now to Cheryl and Miller. Miller left point, thought about it, picks it up. Bounce pass goes to Persinger. She'll take it high on the left, back near midcourt. Spins around to the left wing. Hand off now to Geyser. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound now to Ashley Mullen. Island ball, Mullen across the timeline. Her cross-court pass. Far corner to Harris, saves it. Knocked out top, and 
dove after by Jenna Troyer out of bounds off of her hands. It'll be a Highland turnover, their fifth of the first half. That's what Wayne Dale defense does to you. They just force you to hurry up, and then the mistakes will happen. Shop for jewelry for Valentine's Day at the jewelry store with their selection of sterling silver earrings, necklaces, rings, citizen watches, and more at 97 West Jackson Street in Millersburg. Wayne Dale basketball, five-point lead. Sherilyn Miller across the timeline. Her pass goes to Nussbaum, high on the left side. Now between the circles of the pass to Miller. Miller lobs it, right block, can be knocked away and stolen by Ayla Miller. Third, Wayne Dale turnover. Bullet to the front court on the left wing. It's the handoff, Jenna Troyer. Back to Ashley Mullet. Mullet to the foul line. Her 15-footers up in the air. Knocks it down. Ashley Mullet has five. Highland back to within three. Yeah, good recognition by Ashley, seeing what the defense would give her. Golden Bears with the basketball. 5.40 to play in the half. Miller across the timeline. Pass, pass goes right wing to Geyser. Guarded tightly by Jenna Troyer. Geyser's pass. Right block goes to Brooklyn Yoder. Her shot left hand high at the last is good. Brooklyn Yoder has her first two. 17-12 wing deal. Yeah, nice post move there by Yoder. Highland ball, bullet to the front court. Dribbles it out soft, crossover to the foul line. To the left corner, Jenna Troyer. Troyer drive, lane, runner left hand by Troyer. That's no good, rebound Brooklyn Yoder. And Wayne Dale basketball, they have a five point advantage. Here's Miller across the timeline. Pass pass to the right wing, corralled by Geyser. Geyser looking to the right block, Brooklyn Yoder. Her layup is gonna be no good, too wide open that time apparently. Rebound goes to Ayla Miller. And it'll be Ashley Mullet who has the basketball. Takes it across the half goal line. Mullet surveys it now to Ayla Miller, right wing. Crossover to the foul line. Backs it into the right block. She's double teamed. Kicks the right wing to Ashley Mullet. Her three pointers up in the air going to be no good. Rebound goes to Brooklyn Yoder. She's been all over the boards in this first half. Five rebounds for her in the first half. Wayne now has it. Here's Miller across the timeline. And show call timeout with four and a half to play in the first half. It's Wayne Dale 17, Highland 12. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Looking for an experienced professional pest control company? Hi, this is Roger Bugs McClure with Holmes Pest Control. With over 40 years in the pest control industry and a lifelong resident of Holmes County, Holmes Pest Control can give you the best service by using the best products at the best price. Call Holmes Pest Control, 330-674-9094 or visit our website at homespestcontrolincorporated.com. Another home-owned, homegrown, Holmes County business. Professional service with a personal touch. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Home Siding Contractors. Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Wayne Dale has the basketball out of that timeout as uh, Rick Geyser wanted to, to talk about it. And it'll be in bat into the backcourt to Joel Persinger. And now back over to Sherilyn Miller. Miller into the front court, guarded by Ashley Mola. Picks it up too soon, now pass left to the foul line. Goes into the hands of Bainey, back over to Sherilyn Miller to the corner. Out top to Holly Newsbaum. Back in the right wing, Geyser. Geyser whips it out top, Newsbaum. Back in the left wing, into the hands now of Elise Yoder. Out top of the pass goes to Miller. Miller dribbles it to the foul line, cut off, backs it up right wing. Miller again, kicks it right wing, now grabbed by Geyser. Geyser backs it up high on the right side, working against Trish Troyer now. Back in the left wing. On the far side, Newsbaum, out top to Geyser. Geyser dribbles at right point. Still with the basketball. Now a three-pointer by Geyser going to be no good. Rebound is grabbed by Joplin Yoder. Highland basketball now. Bullets pass front court to the corner. Trish Troyer's three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound Ayla Miller. Her put back no good, but she's going to be fouled. Ayla Miller on the offensive boards. That'll be the 13th foul on Wayne. They'll I believe that foul on Persinger. That would be her second. And now two free throws for Ayla Miller. Yeah, good action there by Miller getting that rebound. That's her fourth rebound of the first half. Good battle between her and uh, Brooklyn Yoder in this first half of play. Indeed. That free throw up going to be good. Ayla Miller has her first point. The actor commit, six-foot senior, averaging 11.5 points per contest. At the conclusion of this game, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway at 995 South Washington Street in Millersburg. Second free throw knocked down by Miller, makes them both. Ayla Miller gives Highland uh, 14 points. They're down 17-14. Wayne Dale basketball. 
In the backcourt, Cheryl Miller on the double team. Gets a pass in the front court now. On the left wing, here's Newsbaum. Her three-pointer going to be knocked down. Left her open, her second three, 20 to 14, Wayndale. Two for two behind the arc for Nussbaum. Six points for her, it'll be Highland basketball. Jenna Troyer across the timeline pass, Ayla Miller now, double team, dribbles the left wing. Drive to the lane, little runner gonna be up, no good. Rebound to the four, five four, and dove after and grabbed by Elissa Geyser. Wayndale ball, here's Sherilyn Miller across the timeline. Three minutes to play in the first half. Right wing with the pass down on the near side, goes over to Elise Yoder. Dumps it inside, deflected, grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder. Back to Elise Yoder, her three-pointer, knocked down. Elise Yoder on the board, her first points, 23-14, Wayne Deal. Island ball, here's Abby Miller to the corner. To the right block, Joplin Yoder. Out top, Ayla Miller, thought about it, dribbles it instead. Left to the foul line. Out top of the pass to Abby Miller, her three-pointer going to be good. Got the bounce, Abby Miller. Her first points, 23-17, Wayne Deal. That's a big bucket there by Highland. They needed that. Wayne Deal ball. At three-quarter short, Geyser. Pass near side to Miller. And she'll cross the half-court line. Miller. And the right point goes over to Geyser. On the left wing, back to the far side, Newsbaum. Out top of the pass goes over to Elise Yoder. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder, though, around the foul line. Right corner to Newsbaum. Backs it up for a three-pointer. That's going to be no good. Rebound, thought four. Finally grabbed by Ayla Miller. Highland ball down by six. Two minutes to play in the first half. Jenna Troyer on the right point. Left point, Trish Troyer, but throws it away. And that'll be the sixth Highland turnover. And now with it across the timeline is Cheryl and Miller for Wayndale. Back in the right wing over to Elise Yoder. Al top to Geyser. Geyser to the foul line. Backs it up to the left wing. Al top Brooklyn Yoder with the pass. Dribbles it to the right wing. Yoder hands, uh, hands it off now over to Cheryl and Miller on that right side. Into the corner now over to Elise Yoder. Her three-point going to be off the mark. Rebound. Grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder again. Her putback. Left hand going to be good. Brooklyn Yoder has four. 25-17 Waynedale. Eight rebounds for Brooklyn in the first half. She's been an animal inside for Waynedale. Highland ball to the right block is uh, Joplin Yoder. Out top Jenna Troyer. Troyer looking. Lobs the left point down to Ayla Miller. Miller dribbles it with one minute to play, second quarter. Now to the left point, to the foul line, and timeout called by Highland. 57 seconds to play in the half. Wayndale 25 and Highland 17. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Time Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home, building, and woodworking needs, offering free next day local area delivery. Place your local delivery order online at Kime.express. So it really comes up down to Wayne Dale just for shooting the lights out in this first half. I mean, the three point shooting for Wayne Dale's been spectacular, man. They're not afraid to throw them up. It'll be a Highland basketball, but he threw him backboard. Ashley Mullis pass goes left to the foul line to Ayla Miller. Miller to the foul line. To Lane kicks the right quarter, Tegan Harris. Now top with it now to Ashley Mola. Mola to the foul line. Back in the corner, Abby Miller. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound going to be grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder. Wayne Neal has the basketball. 40 seconds to play in the half. And an eight-point lead. Into the front court, here's Alyssa Geyser. As they spread the floor, does Wayne Neal. Little four corners action. Here's Newsbaum out top. Pass pass goes high on the right in front of the midcourt line to McKenna Bainey, 5'7 sophomore. Bainey drive, pass to the corner, now three-pointer by Elise Yoder, going to be knocked down. Her second three-pointer, 28-17 lead for Wayndale. Highland ball, 15 seconds to play in the second quarter. Ashley Mullen across the timeline. Takes it high on the left, now to the left wing. Cross court pass, Harris. Into the corner, three-pointer by Ayla Miller, going to be no good. Rebound is grabbed by Bainey. One second, and shot at midcourt by Bainey, going to be no good. That'll close out the first half. Halftime score for Wayne Dill. It's Wayne Dill 28 and Highland 17. Back around the recap, the first half for you on WKLM. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964. Specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. 
For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. When you found the perfect home, you want the same for your home loan process. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, our lenders stay accessible, communicate often, and help you understand what's happening every step of the way. Talk with one of our lenders today to determine the options that are available to you and your family. We want to help you find a home loan that works. Our focus is on the details so that you can focus on moving in. In other words, we check all the boxes so you can unpack yours. The Kilbuck Savings Bank, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC, NMLS 422-885. At Gugasburg Cheese, you'll find an unbelievable section of your favorite cheeses, as well as some really good uh, deals. In case so you're looking for something unique, we have a number of imports, along with the Gugasburg classics you know and love. If you haven't already curd, it really doesn't get cheddar than this. So don't Swiss out. Hit the road, Pepper Jack, and stop on out to Gugasburg Cheese, where the baby Swiss is wheelie, wheelie good. Yeah, we know this ad is cheesy, but we reclut nothing. <laughs> With tightening budgets and resources, schools face a daunting task these days, providing young people with all they need to equip them for the years ahead. Denko Marketing in Millersburg urges you to support our students and youth in whatever way you can. Whether it's the giving of your time and experience or donating items for use by educators, groups, or clubs, everyone can make a difference. Denko Marketing of Millersburg hopes you're giving back to the young people of today. Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. You can never go down the wrong trail when you go to Millersburg Tire Service. They have the best brands, along with the most experienced tire experts in the area. When it comes to tires and holes in surrounding counties, pick the right trail and drive the Millersburg Tire Service. They've been getting the job done right for 68 years. That's Millersburg Tire Service, located off State Route 39, east of Millersburg. Call 674-1085. Pizza Parlor 2 in Kilbuck is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. If you don't want to cook on game day, give them a call at 330-276-5661. They prepare their own homemade crust topped with their own special pizza sauce and your own choice of toppings. You can also order appetizers, sandwiches, their famous original subs, basket combos, and garden fresh salads. You don't have to get out of your car because they have a convenient drive through to pick up your order. Call today, 330-276-5661. It is halftime from Waynedale, where Waynedale owns a 28-17 lead over Highland as Waynedale led 15-10 after the first quarter, that saw two lead changes and also one tie. And then Wayne Dale scoring Highland 13-7 in that second quarter. Wayne Dale has an 11-point lead at the half at 28-17 over Highland. For Wayne Dale in the first half, leading the way for them was Alyssa Geyser. Geyser going 3-for-9 from downtown for her total of 9 points. Also, Elise Yoder in that first half going 2-for-6 from 3-point distance for her total of 6 points. And Kylie Nussbaum in the first half, she would go two for three on three-point tries for her total of six points. Also four points for Brooklyn Yoder and three for Sherilyn Miller, running up the Waynedale total of 28. For Highland leading the way, that was Ashley Mullet and Trish Troyer. Ashley Mullet in the first half, 0 for 2 on three-point tries, 0 for 1 from two-point range, 2 for 2 for the foul line. And should say Mullet, I should say it was a one, 0 for 1 on three-point tries, 2 for 3 from two-point range and one for one from the foul line. Ashley Mullet had five points. And also Trish Troyer, the freshman in the first half, was one for two on three-point tries and one for one from two-point range as Troyer also had five points. Three points scored by Abby Miller and two for Tegan Harris. Two points also scored by Ayla Miller, running out the 17-point total for the Lady Hawks. Halftime score, Wayne Dale 28 in Highland 17. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Troy Fritz. Thank you very much, Matt. For Highland in the first half, they would go two of nine from three-point range for 22%. While Waynedale red hot, they shot it 22 times beyond the arc, made eight of them for 36%. Waynedale just going two of six from two-point range for 33%, while Highland was four of nine for 44%. Highland was a perfect three or three, three, four, three from the free throw line. And Waynedale did not attempt the free throw in the first half. Waynedale gets a 17-13 rebounding advantage over Highland. Highland commits six turnovers. Waynedale just three. 
Individually for Wayne, they'll lead the way. Brooklyn Oder all over the boards in the first half. Had eight rebounds. Three came at the offensive end. Three rebounds apiece for Alyssa Geyser and McKenna Beanie. And for Highland, it was Ayla Miller who had five rebounds, four rebounds also for Ashley Mullen. A 28-17 lead for Waynedale for Waynedale uh, knocking down those three-pointers in that first half. They're not afraid to throw it up from outside, man. You can tell that's part of their game plan. But, you know, they're spotting people up behind the bar, and, but they move the ball so well. And that's what lets that happen for them. They can move the basketball, and they've usually got somebody spotted up, and they're going to throw it up. You kind of look at that key run. Highland had a nice eight run up eight yeah. to three at that point. And Waynedale, give them credit, they really responded right after that. It's been a game of back and forth runs here by both teams. Waynedale kind of outlasting Highland here so far. But, you know, both teams going at it hard. But it's the Waynedale defense, again, that's kind of making the difference, Matt. You got to believe here for Highland, obviously, the uh, big key like it always is that, that that early part of that third quarter to kind of get themselves back in this basketball game. Yeah, so they're going to come out and try to make it run, and I think they can make some halftime adjustments. This Wayne Dale defense, you know, they try to push you away from the back, but that does create opportunities to dribble drive, and Highlands had some success with that. If they can beat the double team, they're scoring opportunities inside the paint. Halftime score, it is a 28-17 lead for Wayne Dale. Back with the second half after this on WKLM. Proud to serve all your real estate and auction needs, RES Auction Services and HER Realtors have been a locally and independently owned real estate and auction company for over 40 years. At HER Realtors, the selling market is strong. If you give them the listings, including property listings, they have the buyers. Contact HER Realtors at 674-7610, on the web at herrealtors.com, or RES Auction Services at 833-765-3737, and on the web at res.bid. Located on Glen Drive in Middlesburg, making a difference one sale at a time. To stay as warm as possible, you add an extra layer. It's the same when it comes to your windows. MRV Siding Supply has Provia Triple Pane Windows, providing an extra layer of insulation. MRV Siding Supply also has Provia Signet Fiberglass Doors with a foam-filled Solid Core Energy Star rated. MRV Siding Supply, Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, PA. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Stop it all this week for big game savings at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get 81% lean ground chuck for $3.99 a pound. Pork shoulder western style ribs for $1.98 a pound. One pound sweet red bright strawberries for $3.48 each. Green broccoli crowns for $1.48 a pound. Assorted varieties of DiGiorno pizzas for $4.88. And Utz potato chips, buy one, get one free. And don't forget about the great Valentine's Day specials at the Posey Pad Floral Shop at Rody's IGA. For all your heating needs this winter, call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse, uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. This is Tim Meyer with ProMotion Therapy, where we understand that your health is important to you. That's why we have solutions for all your therapy needs. From a sports injury to recovery from a surgery or pain management, we will help you make a plan for the road to recovery. We are conveniently located on the south side of Millersburg at 1207 South Washington Street. Give us a call today to schedule an appointment and join the ProMotion Therapy family, promoting a better you. 
Reminder once again, this game is uh, being video live stream courtesy of Claxon Communications, the uh, team of Casey Claxon and Emma Merriman providing full video tonight on the WKLN Facebook and YouTube pages so you can check out the video of the entire second half uh, for that. Of course, we're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. It is Dakota Patterson back at WKLM Sports Central. McRoy alongside Troy Fritz as we begin the second half of play. It'll be uh, Wayne Dale with it at side court, and it'll be... Cheryl and Miller to inbound. Her pass goes to Joel Persinger, going for right to left in the second half as Wayne Dale. Now Brooklyn Yoder left of the foul line, picks it up, looking. Pass goes off the leg of Geyser and out of bounds. Good tight defense there, causes a turnover for Wayne Dale. That'll be their fourth. Yeah, that's the kind of start Highland needed here to come out here in the second half. Turn up the, the Lady defense. Hawks going from a left to right after that good defensive play. Here's Ashley Mullet's pass. Goes left wing to Ayla Miller, back to Mullet. Back in the quarter to Ayla Miller. Her three-pointer going to be no good at the side of the backboard. Rebound going to be out of bounds off of Wayne Dale, though, so Highland will catch a break. And they'll inbound it to the right of their own backboard. Ashley Mullet gets a pass off foul top to Ayla Miller. Dribbles it to the foul line, to the lane. Her layup off the last end. Good. Ayla Miller, her first field goal of the game. 28-19 lead for Wayne Dale. Yeah, there's that dribble drive opportunity right there. They can take advantage of that. They'll get right back in this. Miller has four. Wayne Dale basketball. Pass by Miller goes to the right wing over to the far side to Elise Yoder. To the right block, Brooklyn Yoder. Backs it in on Ayla Miller. Shot by Brooklyn Yoder off the last. No good. Rebound goes to Ayla Miller. Highland ball down 28-19. Here's Ashley Mullet to the front court. Bullet directing traffic on the right wing. And to the foul line, to the right block, off balance shot, gonna be good, Ashley Mullet. She has seven, 28-21 lead for Wayne Dale. Betty Hawk starting the third quarter in a 4-0 run. Wayne Dale has it at center circle, here's Sherilyn Miller. Pass goes into the hands of Geyser. On the left wing, over to Joel Persinger. Out top of the Miller, dribbles it to the foul line. To the lane, Miller, layup, gonna be off the glass, no good rebound, goes to Jenna Troyer, then she'll be tripped up. And the foul is called on Wayne Dale. That'll be their first team foul coming in this uh, third quarter. Highland, by the way, no fouls the entire game to this point for the Lady Hawks. Yeah, playing a very clean game. Good defense, not like they're sitting on their heels, Matt. This is just to be a, you know, when you get two good teams like this, this is what you get. You won't see a lot of fouls, just good hard basketball. Absolutely. That's the third personal on uh, Joel Persinger. And now Highland has the basketball. Trailing by seven. Six and a half to play third quarter. Ashley Mullet across the timeline. Pass goes to Jenna Troyer. Back to Ashley Mullet at center circle. Takes it to the right wing. Her pass goes to Trish Troyer. Out top to Ashley Mullet. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound goes to Geyser. Wayne Dale basketball up 28-21. 6.15 to play in the third quarter. Cheryl and Miller across the timeline. Takes it high on the left side. Miller still with the basketball. Picks it up. Looking. Finally passed into the hands of Brooklyn Yoder along the foul line. Al Top, back to Miller. Being guarded tightly by Ashley Mullet. Now to Troyer inside the backdoor cutting. Geyser, her layup is good. Geyser has 11, 30 to 21, lead for Wayne Dale. Highland ball, here's Mullet across the timeline. On the left wing, Jenna Troyer, Al Top, Ayla Miller. On the right corner, goes to Abby Miller. Dribbles at the right wing. Miller to the foul line. Her runner left hand gonna be no good. Rebound, fought four. On the four, it'll be dove after, and it's going to be finally picked up somehow by Brooklyn Yoder. Wayne Dale ball, they have a nine-point lead. Five and a half to play in the third. Miller across the timeline. Bounce pass right wing to the corner. Baseline. Reverse layup going to be good by Joel Persinger. Has her first two of the night, 32-21 Wayne Dale. And now they have a 4-0 run. Island ball, here's Bullet to the foul line. Lane, back in the corner, Jenna Troyer's three-pointer's gonna be no good. Rebound to Trish Troyer. Backs it up, now to Ashley Mullet, right point. Now top to Ayla Miller. Dribbles it to the foul line. Left wing of the pass goes over to Abby Miller. Miller to the foul line. On the right post, backs it in. Kicks it out top, Jenna Troyer. Thought about it, dribbles it instead. Backs it up. Troyer, looking, spins around. And finally a pass goes to Ayla Miller, knocked out of bounds off of Wayne Dale, and Highland will keep the basketball. And now check it in, Joplin Yoder. Whistle blown by the official here. They're gonna pick up some debris. Highland will inbat it, it'll be Joplin Yoder in for Highland, the freshman. Abby Miller, Jenna Troyer, 
Ayla Miller and Ashley Mullet in there as well. And batted to Ayla Miller. Back to Ashley Mullet. On the left wing, Jenna Troyer. Troyer drives to the baseline. Her layup is going to be off the glass. No good. Rebound fall four. Grabbed by Ayla Miller. Her put back block, but a foul. And that'll be the second team foul, Wayne Dale. This time, Ayla Miller hitting the offensive glass. Yeah, Miller getting active here. She's got to get on track here. She's um, maybe a little bit below her scoring average here, but they need her to get going. To the foul, Cheyenne Chupp, her first personal foul. Ayla Miller has four points so far. And the free throws up, going to be knocked down. Stay tuned later on tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKOM, brought to you by Homeless Siding Contractors. Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Second free throw by Ayla Miller is going to be good. Got the bounce. And she has six, 32-23 Wayne Dale. Perfect four for four from the free throw line is Ayla. Getting it done from there. Golden Bears basketball. Cheryl and Miller across the timeline. Bounce pass to the right wing. Juggled and grabbed by Persinger. Takes it to the corner against Joplin Yoder. Three-pointer by Persinger. Going to be no good. Rebound. Deflected. Grab by Ashley Mullet. On the run. On the fast break. Mullet drive. Runner by Mullet. Off the last. Going to be good. Mullet now has nine. 32-23. Wayne Dale. Make a 32-25. Wayne Dale with the lead. Mullet has four points in this third quarter. Wayne Dale basketball. Here's Miller across the timeline. Pass inside, goes to Persinger, her layup is going to be good. Nice look, and Persinger now has four, nine-point lead for Wayndale. Yeah, good post up there by Persinger, making herself available down the low post. Mullet has it out top for the Lady Hawks. Lobs it inside, but thrown away. And a little miscommunication on that pass, it'll be seventh Highland turnover. Wayndale ball, pass to the right block, goes inside. Shot by Cheyenne Shup, blocked out of bounds by Joplin Yoder. It'll stay with Wayndale. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway at 995 South Washington Street in Millersburg, the Subway player of the game. Elise Yoder to inbound for the Lady Golden Bears. Pass goes right to the foul line to Geyser. Pass inside, stolen away by Abby Miller. Miller to the front court. Pass goes left wing, Jenna Troyer. Out top the Joplin Yoder. Out of the foul line, to the lane. Head fake, shot off the glass, is going to be good. Joplin Yoder has his first two, 34-27 lead for Wayne Deal. That's what Highland needs to do, is just keep attacking this defense, get the ball inside, the opportunities are there. Wayne Deal ball in the right corner. Geyser, three-point high in the air, going to be knocked down. Then there's that. She doesn't need much room, does she? No, a, she doesn't. A 10-point Wayne Deal advantage, 14 points for Geyser. Highland ball. Pass out top, Abby Miller. Left wing, Jenna Troyer at center circle to Ashley Mullet, who calls out the play. Mullet to the right wing. Her pass goes to Jenna Troyer. Double team, backs it out. Now to the midcourt line. Goes over to Ashley Mullet again, high on the right side. Mullet dribbles it. 2.40 to play in the third quarter. Now to the right wing. Mullet has a knock loose on the four. Dove after. Grabbed by Mullet. Now to Abby Miller. Her pass to the corner. Grabbed by Jenna Troyer. Cross-court pass to Tegan Harris. Her three-point going to be no good. Rebound to the four is picked up by Geyser. Wayne Dale ball. Geyser across the timeline. Pass out top goes to Elise Yoder. Back inside of cutting Geyser. Geyser shot for the quarter going to be knocked down. Just inside that three-point line. That time a two-pointer, but a 39-27 lead for Wayne Dale. Yeah, she can even make the close ones, Matt. Highland has it. Two minutes to play, third quarter. Bullets bounce pass left to the foul line, Joplin Yoder. On the right point, Abby Miller to the right post inside of Jenna Troyer. Back to Abby Miller. Her three-pointer up in the air going to be in and out. No good. Rebound goes to Geyser. Golden Bears basketball. They have a 12-point lead. Pass goes over to Elise Yoder. And now going to be a foul called. Reach in on Abby Miller. That'll be the first team foul of the game on Highland. And, of course, first personal on Abby Miller. Stop by Buckeye Farm and Garden for your farming and construction needs across from Holmes Lumber off of State Route 39 and at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com. Miller to inbound for Wayne Dale at side court. Her pass out top goes to McKenna Bainey. Right of the foul line, Brooklyn Yoder now. Backs it up to the right block. Yoder kicks it right wing back to Geyser. Geyser to the corner. Backs it up. Bobs it now high on the right side. Over to Newsbaum, back in the left wing, over to Elise Yoder. Left block and inside to Newsbaum. Newsbaum's reverse layup was no good. Rebound Ayla Miller, and she's going to be fouled. And that'll be the 13th foul. Wayndale coming in this uh, third quarter of action. 
Eighth rebound there for Ayla Miller. Doing a good job on the boards for Highland. Certainly is in the first personal on Brooklyn Yoder. Highland basketball down by 12. Minute 20 to play in the third. Ashley Mullet to the front court on the right wing. Mullet backs it up high on the right side. Cross court pass goes to Trish Troyer. Troyer drive to the corner, spins around. Troyer looking and double team. Finally hand off to Miller. Inside goes to Ashley Mullet. Her shot no good. Rebound grabbed by Newsbaum. Wayne Dill ball up 39-27. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. And again, they'll spread the floor with the four quarters offense. Here's a dribble by Bainey. Juggles it past near side, goes to the hands of Geyser. Troy and Miller Agency with offices in Shreve and Berlin. Wish good luck to all the area high school basketball teams. They'll provide you with a quote for your home, auto, and farm insurance. Troy and Miller Agency, a working team for all your insurance needs. Final 30 seconds of the third quarter. Wayne, of course, has a 12-point cushion. They're content to dribble this clock out and try and go for the final shot. 20 seconds in the third. Here's the handoff, a center circle to Miller. 14 seconds. Miller to the right wing. Gets the handoff to Geyser. 10 seconds. Geyser out top with it. Now the Brooklyn Yoder not close. There's a steal by Ayla Miller. Five seconds. Now to Tegan Harris. Harris's pass stolen away by Geyser. Her baseball shot going to be off the rim. Length of the four just did miss to close out the third quarter. At the end of three, a Twain Dale 39 in Highland 27. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. When it comes to the service of your farm equipment, your one-stop shop should be at Buckeye Farm and Garden. In their full-service garage, they can work on any construction tractor, farm equipment, or fleet service. And check out their shop for their selection of construction and farm equipment to rental equipment. Buckeye Farm and Garden will try to get you what you need to get the job done. Whether it's farm equipment, parts, or service, stop by Buckeye Farm and Garden, located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Check them out at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call 674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment connection. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Wayne Dale outscoring Highland 11 to 10 in that third quarter. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Troy Fritz. Wayne Dale one for three on three point tries for 33%. Highland 0 for four. Highland four for six from two point range. That's good for 67%. Wayne Dale four for seven for 57%. Highland two for two for the foul line. Wayne Dale did not attempt a foul shot. Highland out rebounding. Wayne Dale eight to four. Three turnovers for Wayne Dale two for Highland in that third quarter of play. Already for the fourth quarter ball knocked out of bounds by Beeney. And Highland will have the basketball at side court to inbound. Jenna Troyer into the hands on the pass to Ayla Miller. Dribbles it to the right wing. Miller to the foul line. Backs it up to the right block. Miller shot up going to be good. And the foul. Count that bucket on the foul on Brooklyn Yoder. Ayla Miller, a big shot to begin the fourth quarter. Chance for a three-point play. Yeah, big move in the post there by Ayla. And she needs to keep doing that. Brooklyn Yoder's second personal, 14 foul on Wayne Deal. Ayla Miller now up to eight points on the night. Makes it a 10-point game. And her free throw is up, going to be knocked down. She's now five for five for the foul line. Nine points, Ayla Miller, 39-30 lead for Wayndale. Golden Bears basketball just into the fourth quarter. Cheryl and Miller across the timeline. Bounce pass goes over to Elise Yoder. Left wing now on the near side, going to be a whistle blown. That's going to be a turnover. I believe stepped out of bounds on the near sideline. Yeah, Nussbaum stepped on the sideline right in front of Wayne Dale bench. And the uh, seventh turnover on Wayne Dale. Eight by comparison for Highland. Inbounded to Ayla Miller in the backcourt. She'll take it herself across the half court line. The handoff goes to Tegan Harris. Cross her pass, Jenna Troyer. Head of the corner now to Trish Troyer. Her three pointer is going to be knocked down. Trish Troyer has her three point basket. 39 33 lead now for Wayne Dale. Troyer has her second three-pointer of the night. Eight points for her. Wayne Dale beats the full-court pressure now. Sherilyn Miller across the timeline. Takes a left wing. 
Right on the foul line. Inside the paint, Brooklyn Yoder backs it in. Yoder shot off the last, going to be no good. Rebound goes to Jenna Troyer. She's double teamed, gets a pass off, and stolen away by Brooklyn Yoder. Her shot blocked by Ashley Mullet. She gets called for the foul. And that'll be the second team foul in Highland. Mullet has her first. All kinds by the double team by uh, Wayne Dale after that rebound. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what Wayne Dale will do to you. But Brooklyn Yoder, they're getting to the free throw line now for Wayne Dale. This will be their first free throw attempt of the night. Brooklyn Yoder. The free throw up going to be in and out no good for the 5'7 senior, averaging 10 and a half a game and seven rebounds per contest, a 66% free throw shooter. For your furnaces and generator needs this winter, uh, winter contact MRE Services in Baltic, 330-897-4869. Second free throw is good by Yoder. MRE Services, heating, cooling, and electrical. Yoder now has five points. Highland down by seven, 40 to 33 in the fourth quarter. Highland ball now to Trish Troyer, high on the right side. Dribbles it out top. Now over to Jenna Troyer, left wing to Abby Miller. Miller to the foul line. On the right point now, an offensive foul going to be called against the Lady Hawks. Highland a disagreement. Or is that a travel they're going to call? Uh, they got Jenna Troyer on the foul call. Okay, it is indeed. It was. Call her for the push off, apparently, first. Personal foul on Jenna, third team foul on Highland. It'll be Wayne Dale with the basketball, up 42-33. Miller in the center circle, fast pass left to the foul line, Brooklyn Yoder. Gets a handoff down to Geyser, to the baseline. Here's a drive by Elise Yoder, her layup was no good. Rebound put back, no good by Brooklyn Yoder. Rebound inside by Elise Yoder. Out top, Geyser, her three-point going to be no good. Rebound grabbed inside under the basket by Cheryl and Miller. Back to Geyser. On the left side, Geyser backs it up in front of the midcourt line. Now to Miller on the left wing. Miller looking, shovels it up to Kaiser. Geyser to the foul line. Now to the right side, out top of the pass to Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder dribbles it left wing. The handoff now to Elise Yoder. Yoder looking, dribbles it, pass to Geyser. Right corner now over to far side, McKenna Bainey. Bainey spins around, picks it up, and finally a travel is going to be called. And that'll be for Wayne Dale, their eighth turner, turnover of the night. Yeah, Highland picked up their defensive intensity here this second half. It's forcing Highland into some turnovers. 40 to 33, Wayne Dale. Highland has the basketball. 5.48 to play in the fourth quarter. Ashley Bullitt across the timeline. Has it out top. Now to Jenna Troyer high on the left. Back to Bullitt at center circle. Now to the right wing. Into the corner goes to Trish Troyer. Her pass deflected on the fourth, stolen away by Bainey. Bainey on the other end. She's going to be fouled by Ashley Mullen after the 10th Highland turnover. Mullen has her second 14 foul on Highland. Yeah, Mullen's going to make her earn that one. The one going to give her the free layup. That wasn't a bad foul, man. A smart foul on that play. Yep. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Middlesbrough. And guys are inbounds it. Back to Persinger, back to Geyser. Geyser's three-pointer from the quarter is no good. Rebound to Ayla Miller. Highland ball, still down by seven. Miller across the timeline. Crossover to the foul circle. Into the quarter, Jenna Troyer. Dribbles the left wing, now to the foul line. Out top goes to Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer going to be knocked down. Trish Troyer, her second three of the fourth quarter. 5-10 to play. There's a timeout. Highland, it's Wayndale 40, Highland 36. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling, that's it, happy feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, Coach. I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. All this month by one month of a limited tanning and share with a friend and buy five tanning passes and get three free at the Beach Club Tanning Salon in Millersburg and Berlin. Highland with a little bit of three-point shooting into their own trail. Troy got in the back of this ball yeah, game. Yeah, Trish Troyer, she's got a sweet-looking jump shot. They're getting her on track. And Highland all of a sudden has got themselves within four points, Matt. Wayne Dale basketball out of the timeout. Up 40 to 36. 5-10 to play. Embedded to the hands of Geyser. Back to Sherilyn Miller as the pressure backs off. 
Miller into the front court. Dribbles to the left point. Pass goes in the hands of Geysers. They spread the floor again. Four corners offense. Back high on the right in front of the midcourt line to Nussbaum. Dribbles the right wing. Nussbaum drive. Runner by Nussbaum. Off the glass and good. Well, the Nussbaum has eight. 42-36 Waynedale. Island ball. Here's the pass by Bullock. Goes to Jenna Troyer on the left wing. To the corner now to Ayla Miller. Miller dribbles it to the right block. Backs it in. Her shot no good. Rebound grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder. Waynedale has it now. And a six-point lead. Here's Miller to the front court. At center circles, they spread the floor once again. Miller to the foul line. Drive to the lane. Back to the corner. There's a three-pointer by Brooklyn Yoder. Going to be no good. Rebound chased down by Ayla Miller. And Ashley Mullet with the basketball. Lady Hawks basketball with it. Here's Mullet to the foul line. To the lane. Her layup left hand. Going to be no good, but a foul. Mullet really attacking the basket that time. Showed two free throws coming her way. Yeah, Ashley Mullet's just got such a quick first step. She can get by you in a hurry. We'll see that foul actually on the floor, so she will not get free throws. And that'll be the third personal foul on Brooklyn Miller, the uh, 15th foul on Wayne Deal. And now Joel Persinger checks out, replaced by McKenna Bainey. Jenna Troyer to inbound. It does so left of the foul line, Ashley Mullet. Mullet drive to the lane. Her layup going to be good. Ashley Mullet has 11. Highland back to within four. Yeah, there's that quick first step, giving her that opportunity. Golden Bears basketball. Here's Miller at center circle. Again, they'll spread the floor. Starts at it. Now to the foul line. Drive to lane. Her layup left hand going to be no good. Rebound to Ayla Miller. Highland ball down 42 to 38. 345 to go. Bullet to the front court. Now to the foul line. Bullet cut off. Looking. Shovels it out top to Trish Troyer. Back to Bullet high on the left side. Bullet drive. Runner by Bullet off the last. No good, but she's going to draw a blocking foul. And now two free throws for Ashley Mullet. That foul going to be on Nussbaum. That'll be her second 16th foul on Waynedale. Yeah, and Ashley Mullet starting to take over from the point. And Waynedale does not match up her with her, Matt. That she's got the quickness to get around them. Stop by Southside Quick Lube and ask for a Quaker State oil change. For performance you can count on, Quaker State, the power to reduce friction. Free throw knocked down by Ashley Mullet. Now up to 12 points. She has one more to go. This free throw, she can knock it down. Will pull Highland to a thin two. That's up. That's going to be knocked down. Mullet came in, averaging 13 a game for the 5'6 sophomore point guard. 42 to 40, Waynedale. They had the ball. Three and a half to go. And the timeout by Waynedale. 327 to play. It's Waynedale 42, Highland 40. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Hi, this is Joel Gauss, and I'm pleased to announce the opening of a second Premier Pharmacy location inside Rhodey's IGA in Millersburg. That's two locations to serve Holmes County even better. Most insurance, including all alt care and primetime plans, will be accepted immediately during our soft open. Don't wait until your next doctor's appointment to start experiencing the Premier difference. We can easily transfer your active prescriptions from whatever pharmacy you currently use. That's Premier Pharmacy in Berlin, and now also in Millersburg, your community pharmacy. Don't let your home be without power. Call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians and carries a full line of parts and service kits for all your Generac needs. Call 330-279-4522. Well, Wayne had that 12-point lead after the uh, third quarter, but uh, for Highland so far in the fourth, it's been all Lady Hawks. They've outscored Waynedale so far 13 to three. They're back to within two. Yeah, and that's been set up by Waynedale attacking, the, or by Highland attacking this Waynedale defense, which has, you know, allowed them to get some dribble drive and kickouts, hit the three. So Waynedale getting a lot better scoring opportunities here in this second half, Matt. They'll take to the four. It'll be Waynedale with it here at side court. McKenna Bainey, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging five and a half a game, will do the honors. Inbounds it to Sherilyn Miller. Two-point lead for Wayne Deal. Miller spins around, passes side back to her, cutting Alyssa Geiser, her layup, no good. Rebound put back, is good by Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder, she's been so big on the offensive boards. Now the putback and a four-point lead for Wayne Deal. 44-40 lead for the Lady Golden Bears. Highland ball on the left wing, goes over to Jenna Troyer, out top to Trish Troyer, right wing Abby Miller. To the right block inside, Jenna Troyer all alone for a layup. That's good. Troyer, her first two tonight. Highland down by two. Yeah, good movement without the basketball by Troyer to get herself open on the low block. Golden Bears had the basketball into the front court. Here's Sherilyn Miller as they'll spread the floor again. 
Miller to the foul line, backs it up, bounce up. Now the handoff goes high on the right side over to Maney. Back on the near side, the pass into the hands of Alyssa Geyser. Geyser guarded by Ashley Mola at center circle. That pass goes far side. A dribble out top by Sherilyn Miller against Trish Troyer. Near side in front of the midcourt line, back in the hands of Kylie Nussbaum. Nussbaum to the foul line, back to the corner, over to Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder drive to the lane, her layup left hand going to be no good, missed everything, goes out of bounds. Great job by Ayla Miller not touching that basketball. Very tempting to do so. She didn't. It goes out of bounds on Yoder. Now they're going to say it is off of uh, Highland, apparently. Ah, well, to Matt, to your point, great job on the defense by Ayla. She was smart enough to give the defense, but then stand straight up. Nice work. So it will be a Wayne Dale basketball. And Geyser to inbound. To the corner of the Brooklyn Yoder. Double team. Backs it into the left block. Yoder's pass, deflected, goes cross court. That will be out of bounds, and it will be a Wayne Dale turnover. And now up to nine on the night. Very even that way, 10 for, for Highland on their side. 44, 42, Wayne Dale, Highland has the ball. 2.10 to go, in and to Mullet. She'll race it across the timeline. Mullet to the foul line, to Lane. Her layup gonna be no good. Falls down, there's the rebound to Alyssa Geyser. Into the front court to Miller for Wayne Dale. Has it out top. On the left wing, Miller still with it. Backs it up in front of the midcourt line. 150 to play, fourth quarter. Miller crossover to the foul line. Here pass goes to the corner. Brooklyn Yoder's three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Geyser. Now she'll throw it away, deflect it. Here's a whistle blown. Apparently going to be a foul call on that loose ball. And that's going to be against Waynedale. So it'll be their 17 foul. So it's going to be a bonus situation for Highland. And yep. then foul on uh, Sherilyn Miller. Yeah, big break here for Highland. They'll, have, they'll be shooting from here out now, just down two. So at the foul line is going to be Trish Troyer. And the freshman does have 11 points tonight. That's a three-point shot, tying her season high. Free throw here, no good on the 101. Rebound grabbed by Newsbaum. Wayne Dale basketball, still a two-point lead. One and a half to go. Sherilyn Miller across the half court line. Her pass goes left point. Now to Geyser, left wing Brooklyn Yoder. And timeout again by Wayne Dale. 124 to go. Wayne Dale 44, Highland 42. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Come to the Coppin Realty and Auctions Absolute Snyder Online Only Real Estate Auction in Ranch Home and Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. with extended bidding. This auction has a ranch home with two bedrooms and two baths, along with a bonus unfinished walkout basement on a 78 by 96 city lot at 228 Oak Street Southwest in Sugar Creek. For more information, contact Kurt Yoder at 330-204-2447. That's the Coppin Realty and Auction Absolute Cider Online Only Real Estate Auction and Ranch Home in Sugar Creek on Thursday, February 24th at 5 p.m. Visit Coppin-Auctions.com. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Home Siding Contractors. Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. And it looks like this game's going down to the wire, Troy. Yeah, absolutely. Highland in good position here. they still got two fouls to get before Waynedale shoots. So they've got the ability to stop the clock when they need to right now, Matt. On the four for Highland, Ayla Miller, Abby Miller, also Ashley Millett, Jenna Troyer, and Trish Troyer. Wayne has the basketball, embedded by Sherilyn Miller. Into the backcourt to Brooklyn Yoder, back to Sherilyn Miller. Out there is McKenna Beaney, Alyssa Geyser. And on the near side also is going to be Kylie Nussbaum. 1.15 to go. Wayne Dale basketball and a two point lead. Beaney on the left point, guarded by Jenna Troyer. Now to Brooklyn Yoder, working against Ayla Miller. Dribbles it, picks it up, pass inside the foul circle to Geyser. Geyser at the top of the key, working against Ashley Mola. Drive, back to the corner, deflected, and it'll be a reach and foul called on Mola. Now her third personal, 15th foul on Highland. No harm there for Highland, stops the clock. That'll have to reset now for Waynedale. So 58 seconds. And a win band will be Sherilyn Miller. Looking, good tonight defense by the Lady Hawks. Finally a pass out top goes to Geyser. Back over to Cheryl Miller at center circle. 50 seconds and counting. Wayne Dale basketball up by two. Miller to the left wing. Spins around to the foul circle. Backs it up near the midcourt line. Miller, left point. Bounce pass goes over to Geyser. Geyser drive. Lost it. Stored away by Jenna Troyer. 
Croyer picks it up, hands it off to Ashley Mullet, the 10th, Wayne Dale turnover. Highland the ball down by two, Mullet. Pass goes cross court to Ayla Miller. Her three pointer high in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound back to Brooklyn Yoder. Highland got what they wanted, couldn't cash it in. Now the foul by Ashley Mullet. She can't do that anymore. And I don't think Highland wanted her to make that foul. No, that's her fourth foul, so she cannot foul anymore, and they need her on the floor map. So it'll be Wayne with it at side court, 21 seconds to go. Checking in, Tegan Harris. A little offense for defense substitution to get Mullen out to avoid that uh, fifth personal foul. 21 seconds to go. 44-42, Waynedale. Pass in the backcourt. Stolen away by Jenna Troyer. Troyer layup going to be good. That ties it up at 44 apiece. Waynedale ball, 13 seconds. And a timeout for Waynedale. 11.7 seconds to go. Wayne Dale 44, Highland 44. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Don't go away. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Holmes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Well, if you're looking for a ball game, you found one here tonight. It's Wayne Dale 44, Highland 44, and we are literally down to the wire. Wayne Dale, an opportunity here at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Janet Troyer getting that steal tying the ball game up, but now Wayne Dale basketball. We'll see what they do out of the timeout. But, um, you know, they shoot the ball so well from deep or inside, so this is going to be interesting, Matt. You know, both teams are really taking care of the basketball. Give Highland some credit. They knew they had to turn up the pressure defensively, especially here at the end. They really had two key turnovers on Wayne Dale to cough it up and eventually get that basket. Yeah, Matt, good point. They've got back in this with their defense. Defense. That's why we're tied up right now. Wayne no ball tied up at 44, 11.7 seconds to go. Crowd on their feet, and it'll be Wayne no with it on the far side. McKenna Bainey to inbound. 11 and a half seconds tied up. There's the whistle. Bainey looking. And good night. Good night. Defense again. Can't get the ball inbounded. And it'll be another Wayne Dale timeout. 11.7 seconds to go. We'll keep it right here. Tied up at 44. And you look at this game. Wayne Dale jumped out to a five-point lead after the first quarter. 11-point lead at halftime. It really was done by just a terrific three-point shooting by them. And you figure Highland was going to make some adjustments, Troy, and they certainly did here in the second half. Well, they did. They come out here and started attacking this defense. Again, it allowed them to get some points in the paint, which then opened up the outside shooting. And, you know, it became a much more balanced attack for Highland, and now that's where we're at. You look at what Ashley Bullis done offensively, yeah. and of course, uh, you mentioned a couple of times, Trish Scheuer, she's been huge tonight, the freshman, with her 11 points. Yeah, they've been looking for that all year from Trish. I mean, that girl can shoot the basketball, and she's done that tonight, knocking down some big, timely three-pointers. Tied up at 44. Now, Geyser with a terrific night for her, 16 points, but she has not scored so far in the fourth quarter. I'm sure that's the players they like to get the ball in, the, in the her hands here at this end. Yeah, you can see that she's going to touch the basketball. They want to run this through Brooklyn Yoder on the inbound, but they're going to look for their guards, either Cheryl Lynn Miller or Geyser's going to take this shot, Matt. Wayne Neal will have the basketball again. Could not inbound the ball in that last possession. They'll try it again. And Wayne Neal, no timeouts for them. Three left for Highland. Yeah, they'll break out of the huddle. It'll be this time instead of Bainey, it will be Sherilyn Miller to inbound the basketball for the Lady Golden Bears. 11.7 seconds to go, tied up at 44. Miller looking, pass to Brooklyn Yoder, back to Sherilyn Miller. Nine seconds, Miller out top with it. Eight seconds to go. Miller to the left wing, five seconds. Her three-pointer gonna be no good. Rebound to the four, knock to the four, gonna be grabbed by Miller. Pass out top, three-pointer gonna be not good. Off in time on the shot attempt by Brooklyn Yoder, and that'll allow timeout to run out in regulation. So we will be going to overtime. Tied up at 44 Highland in Wayndale. Back after this on WKOM. 
Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. If it's been, why not go into the extra session as Wayne Dale led 15 to 10 after one. He had a 28-20, a 28-17 lead at halftime. Wayne Dale uh, led by 12 at 39 to 27 through three. Highland Hammer have come back with a huge fourth quarter for the Lady Hawks as Highland would uh, outscore Wayne Dale uh, by a score of uh, 17 to five in that uh, final quarter. And we're tied at 44 going into OT. Yeah, well for Highland here, so a little different scenario now. Ashley Mullet now going into this fifth period with four fouls. So she's got to play very smart basketball because they really need her on the floor, Matt. Certainly do. And Jason Mishler, a few extra words of wisdom for Ashley Mullet. She steps on to the floor. Highland, of course, will be closing out their regular season with this game. And then for Waynedale, they'll be playing tomorrow night, actually, a home game against Hillsdale to cap off their regular season. Of course, they'll have the opening toss to begin the overtime session. Again, it'll be Ayla Miller jumping against Alyssa Geyser. Ayla Miller at six foot, and Geyser, of course, at 5'7". Four minutes on the overtime session, on the clock. There's the toss. It'll be on the four. Dove after, and going to be grabbed and tied up. Just like that, who's the ball go to here? And I think it's going to go to Waynedale. Or they're going to retoss it, retoss it. They're going to retoss. Indeed, they will. Initially touched by Miller on the, the, the flexion on the, on the toss and then couldn't quite uh, grab it. And Geiser got her hands on the basketball as well. And the officials conferring after that toss. Discussing uh, what to do. Now they're pointing at Brooklyn Yoder. They're trying to see who this really went off of. Uh -huh. So, yeah, they're going to re-jump. So Brooklyn Yoder instead of Geiser will do the jumping against Ayla Miller. There's the toss. It'll be won by Highland, finally. Over to Trish Troyer. Ashley Mullen has it to begin the OT session. Mullen across the timeline to the right wing. Max it up. Mullen between the circles. Bounce pass. Left point goes to Abby Miller. Alsop goes to Ayla Miller. To the right block now the Jenna Troyer. Double team. Troyer shot off the last. going to be good. And the foul count that bucket. And Highland has taken their first lead since the first quarter up 46-44 and a chance for a three-point play at the foul line. Yeah, Jenna Troyer coming up big here in the end of regulation and getting this first bucket in overtime to put Highland in the lead. Wow. Six points for Jenna Troyer all in that fourth quarter and overtime session, as you mentioned. That free throw knocked down. Jenna Troyer, last foul was called on Nussbaum, her third. 19 foul on Wayne Dale, and Wayne Dale has the basketball across the timeline. At center circle. 47-44, Highland and OT. Pass left to the foul line, Brooklyn Yoder. Her pass, right block. Goes to Geyser, backs it in. Geyser shot left hand, going to be good. Got the roll. Geyser has 18, 47-46, Highland. Lady Hawks basketball. Here's Ashley Bullitt across the timeline. Drive, foul line, lobs her right winner, Ab Abby Miller. To the corner, goes to Ayla Miller. Her shot going to be no good. Rebound, Brooklyn Yoder. Wayndale basketball down by a one in overtime. Three minutes to go. At center circle with the basketball is Sherilyn Miller. Now to McKenna Beanie high on the left side. On the left wing, Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder dribbles it, picks it up, looking, looking. Finally pass out top through the hands of Geyser, goes out of bounds. That'll be a turnover on Wayndale, and it's going to be 11 for them. 2.37 to go in OT. Highland ball on a one-point lead. Yeah, Highland's defense have been so impressive here in the second half, Matt. Outstanding, and now the Lady Hawks have it. Here's Mullet to the front court. Takes it right wing. Bump, no foul. Now the whistle's going to be blown. That'll be on Geyser. Geyser has her first personal foul tonight. And now nine team fouls for the Lady Golden Bears will be a one-on-one -one for Ashley Mullet. Mullet with 13 points for her for the 5'6 sophomore point guard, averaging 13 a game. 
And the free throw's up going to be nothing but net. 14 for Bullet, two-point lead for the Lady Hawks. Two and a half to go in overtime. Second free throw is up. That's going to be no good. Rebound, Brooklyn Yoder. Wayne no ball, trailing by two. Sherilyn Miller across the timeline. Pass pass goes to the right wing. Over to Bainey. Bainey to the corner, to the right block. Brooklyn Yoder. Yoder picks it up. Back to the corner goes to Bainey. Bainey thought about it. Pass instead. Right wing goes to Sherilyn Miller. Miller. Bobs it near side, goes to Geyser on the left wing. Now to Nussbaum. Now top Brooklyn Yoder. Her three-pointer going to be knocked down. Brooklyn Yoder has 10, 49-48 lead for Waynedale. Gets her a double-double. She's got 16 boards to go with those 10 points. Outstanding night, her first three-pointer made. Here's the drive by Jenna Troyer. Her floater's up in the air. Going to be no good rebound. It's grabbed by Sherilyn Miller. Waynedale has the basketball. And a one-point lead in OT, 140 to go. Miller to the front court at center circle. Dribbles it, minute and a half to play in OT. Working against Jenna Troyer, now to the foul line. Lane, layup gonna be good. Jenna, Cheryl and Miller has five, three point lead for Waynedale. Highland with the basketball, Bullock calls out the play. She'll cross the timeline. Now to the right wing, now top to Ayla Miller. Dribbles it to the foul line, now to Jenna Troyer. Left wing to Ayla Miller, grabs it. Now to the left wing, to the corner. Miller looking, backs it up. Drive to the baseline. Miller, layup going to be no good. Rebound, Brooklyn Yoder. Wayne, no ball, up by three, under a minute to go. Rick Eiser calling for them to spread the floor. Miller across the timeline. Pass near side to Kylie Newsbaum. No foul yet. Dribbles at the center of the circle against Abby Miller. Now to the right point, Newsbaum to the foul line, to the lane, lost it, grabs it. Pass deflected, saved, and grabbed by Ashley Mullet. And they'll say she's out of bounds, or she grabbed it. So it'll stay with Waynedale. So it turned over almost a couple of different times, but somehow Waynedale will keep possession. Yeah, ball stay right here. Good effort there by Waynedale to keep that alive. Tegan Harris in for Ashley Mullet to prevent that uh, fifth personal foul for her. And batted to the backcourt, grabbed by Brooklyn Yoder. Canceled off back to Sherilyn Miller. She'll be fouled here by Ayla Miller. And has just her first personal foul tonight. That'll be the 17th foul, so a one one at the line for Sherilyn Miller. Yeah, good foul there by Ayla. Hyland needed to stop the clock for too much time, ran off. 31 seconds in OT, 51-48 lead for Wayne. Now Mullet will check back in for Tegan Harris. 5-5 five, five, senior point guard Sherilyn Miller, averaging just over six points per game and three rebounds per contest, a 65% free throw shooter. She has five points so far tonight. And the free throw is up, gonna be knocked down. Six points, Sherilyn Miller on the pressure free throw, four point lead for Waynedale. That was a big one there by Sherilyn. And the second free throw attempt. That is up, that's gonna be knocked down, makes them both. Five point Waynedale lead. And batted to Ashley Mullen. Highland ball, Mullen across the half court line. 25 seconds. Now to Abby Miller, back to Ashley Mullen. To the right wing. Now to Jenna Troyer. Now top Mullen. Her three pointer either in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound, Ayla Miller. Her putback is gonna be no good. And the foul is called. Blocking foul on Brooklyn Yoder on that putback. So that'll be the 10th team foul, Wayne Dale. Brooklyn Yoder has her fourth personal foul. Two free throws for Ayla Miller. Yeah, Miller getting that offensive rebound there, so it gets Highland alive here, 14 seconds left. Definitely needing these free throws here. Miller with a nine points tonight for Highland. Free throw up, gonna be good. 10 points, Ayla Miller, six foot senior, averaging 11 and a half points per game. And she's been big at the foul line tonight. Yeah, she's been big on the border. She's got 12 rebounds and a double-double now. Second free throw is up, gonna be good, got the bounce. Makes them both, 53-50 Wayne deal. Full court pressure on by Highland. 14.8 seconds to play in OT. Baseball pass gonna be into the front court, chased down by Perskiner. Her layup gonna be good. They go over the top of the defense, nobody there to end on the ball to. Finally to Jenna Troyer, five seconds. Right corner to Harris, 
Lost it, stored away, that's going to do it. And what a win for Waynedale as they went at 55 to 50 in overtime over Highland. But what a game it was tonight. Both teams going back and forth. Highland, a huge second half to tie it up. And Waynedale down early in overtime, Troy, and they had a great response to come back and get this win. What a classic battle by two very, very good programs. You hate to see anybody lose this game, but wow, we had a treat here tonight, Matt. That'll do it tonight. Again, Waynedale, a winner in OT over Highland, 55 to 50. Waynedale now going to a perfect 21 and 0, a chance to go to 22 and 0 tomorrow night. Highland dropping to 15 and 7, snapping a five-game winning streak. We'll be back to wrap it up after this on WKLM. Fox's Pizza Den in Millersburg is looking for smiling faces to join their team. Day shifts are available six to seven hours per day, six days a week. Successful candidates will need the following skills, the ability to work as a team, self-motivated, dependable, customer-focused, and able to follow directions with limited supervision. If you are interested, stop by the store at 42 North Grant Street to pick up an application. Fox's Pizza Den is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. Home is not a place. It's not something you can touch. Home is a feeling and Danbury is home. Here at Danbury Senior Living, we offer comfort, support, and security for the next chapter in life for you or your loved one. Our team members form lifelong bonds with our residents and their families. When it's time to take the next step, stop by our communities in Millersburg and Worcester for a tour. Visit DanburySeniorLiving.com for more information. We can't wait to meet you. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. You can now shop True Value Hardware at Homes Lumber in Millersburg. In fact, it's the only True Value store in Holmes County. They have added literally thousands of items to their inventory, including Easy Care Paint, making it easy for you to find everything you need for your next project. Homes Lumber is located on State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Behind every project is a True Value. What a game tonight in girls basketball for Waynedale. Waynedale gets the win in overtime over Highland by a final of 55 to 50. Waynedale led 15 to 10 after one and had a 28-17 lead at the half. Highland came storming back, however, in the second half as Waynedale led 39-27 through three in the big quarter for Highland was the fourth as they would outscore Waynedale 17 to five in that final fourth quarter to tie it up at 44 going into overtime. Then in overtime, it was all Wayne Dales. They would outscore Highland 11-6 in the overtime session, and Wayne Dale gets the five-point win in OT, 55-50. Uh, for Wayne Dale, they had two players in double figures. Leading the way for them was Alyssa Geyser. Geyser going four for 13 from downtown. She was also uh, three for four from the two-point range. Geyser had 
a game high of 18 points, and she would score just uh, two points that final fourth quarter and overtime session the rest of the way, uh, but 18 points in all for Geyser on the night. Also in double figures for Wayne Dale was Brooklyn Yoder, who really did it all tonight for her rebounding-wise, defense, and also points as Brooklyn Yoder was one for four on three-point tries. A big three-pointer she knocked down, though, in OT. Also three for seven from two-point range and one for two for the foul line. Brooklyn Yoder finished up with 10 points for Wayne Dale. Also eight points scored by Kylie Nussbaum, six for Joel Persinger, Seven points for Sherilyn Miller, and uh, two big free throws for her in OT as well. Six points scored by Elise Yoder to round out the Wayne Deal total of 55 tonight. For Highland leading the way, that was Ashley Mullet, one of three players in double figures. For Mullet, she would go 0 for 1 on three-point tries, 5 for 10 from two-point range, and 4 for 5 for the foul line. Mullet had 14 points, and for her, the 18th time she's been in double figures on the season for Highland. Also, Ayla Miller in double figures. The Acker commit would go 0 for 4 on three-point tries, but she was 2 for 6 from two-point range and also 7 for 7 from the foul line. Ayla Miller had 11 points and for Miller in double figures for the 15th time on the season. And also, the freshman Trish Troyer stepping up big time tonight. Trish Troyer went to 3 for 4 from downtown, 1 for 1 from two-point range, 0 for 1 for the foul line. Troyer finished up with 11 points, and for her, uh, Trish Troyer, the third time she's been in double figures and also just three points shy of tying her season high for freshman Trish Troyer. Seven points scored by Jenna Troyer. Jenna Troyer with all seven points for her in the fourth quarter and overtime combined, so she was big down the stretch. Three points for Abby Miller, two apiece for Tegan Harris and Joplin Yoder, rending up the Highland total of 50. Final score tonight, Waynedale still unbeaten at 21-0. They went at 55-50 over Highland in OT. Now for the final team numbers, here's Troy Fritz. Thank you very much, Matt. For Highland, inside the numbers at 50 points, they would go 4 of 16 from a three-point range for 25%. Waynedale would go 10 of 36 for 27%. From two-point range, it'd be Waynedale going 11 for 22 for 50%, while Highland would go 13 of 28, good for 46%. Highland getting it done at the free throw line tonight, going 12 of 14 for 85%. Wayndale going 3 of 4 for 75%. Rebounding advantage, a big one, goes to Wayndale as they grab 37 rebounds compared to Highland's 29. Both teams dead even, committing 11 turnovers on the night. Individually for Wayndale, Brooklyn Yoder, monster night on the board, 17 rebounds. Uh, just a pure heart for her tonight. Four of those came at the offensive end. Brooklyn Yoder just huge tonight with those 17 boards. Also eight rebounds for Alyssa Geyser. And for Highland leading the way, it was uh, uh, Ayla Miller, who also had a double-double along with Brooklyn Yoder. Ayla Miller finished up with the uh, total of 12 rebounds, and she had three come at the offensive end. Five rebounds also for Ashley Mullen. Waynedale winner, 55-50 in overtime over Highland. I think the uh, best way to put this, Troy, nobody lost this game. It was just Waynedale. Somebody was going to win it, and Waynedale was able to get that uh, the final buzzer and get that win. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. Neither team should leave the floor feeling bad about anything. This was a great ball game. Two outstanding teams with great players, great coaches, and this is what high school sports is all about, Matt. We talk about what the difference is. There's a lot of things, of course, that happen in a game like this, but I think we talked about the rebounds, and yeah. that was big. Uh, not just Brooklyn Yoder, but in a, at all, those eight boards can make a, make a big difference in a game like this. Yeah, and some of them were on the offensive end, so those are second chance points. So yeah, the rebounding advantage was big for High or for Wayndale tonight. You know, getting 11 more rebounds, 12 or more rebounds of what Highland did. And, uh, you know, they got it done on the end, but, you know, give Highland a lot of credit. They fought, and they fought back and got themselves right back in the game. And, and Matt, they did that in the absence of Mallory Stutz, but not with them tonight. You know, so other players stepped up, just like Coach Mitchell said they needed to do, and what a great ball game. No question about that. I think a game like this, obviously you never want to be without a player like Mallory, but yeah. I think before the tournament so it begins uh, just to have a, a game that you have to play without her and to play a team like this probably was certainly a, a good test for them tonight and obviously uh, they stepped up in a big in a big time way yeah so walking off the floor they're going to say hey we can do this without Mal we can play good basketball and they do there's great players on this island team they, they can go deep and you know different players stepped up tonight and um, you know just a great effort here by Highland Knight nothing to hang their heads on at all Ayla Miller, again, double-double for Highland. She'll be our Subway player of the game. I'm sure we'll see one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subways in Millersburg. 
Ayla Miller, 11 points and 12 rebounds. And really just a great battle for her and Brooklyn Uter all night long. Yeah, Ayla got off to a slow start, but, you know, a big second half for her. And that's what senior leaders do. When the, when the chips are down, they roll up their sleeves, get to work. And, get, and she got them right back in the ball game along with her teammates. I think when you look at Highland here, the two players you kind of look here, uh, maybe you look for them a big going to the stretch here, going into the postseason. Jenna Troyer stepping up down the stretch. Trish Troyer, the freshman, knocking down some big shots as well here tonight. Yeah, Trish, Trish played a great game. But yeah, Jenna stepped up big at the end of the fourth quarter. I mean, she got them into overtime, put some points on the board. But, you know, Ashley Mullet just doing a great job with the point. And Trish Troyer, I mean, she's going to be a good one for years to come here, just a freshman. That girl can shoot the basketball, map. Yeah, just to final, uh, kind of wrap it up here, giving a lot of credit to this Wayne Dale team. Uh, yeah. Unbeaten record, but, uh, again, they come in against the Highland team here. You know, I think uh, maybe their biggest test of the season. Never know how are they going to measure up here. And I think for them, they have to feel a lot of the confidence knowing that not only, not only are they undefeated, Troy, but they really get a big win like this against a, a team like this. This will be a good launch for them heading towards term. I mean, they've got that game yet tomorrow against, against Hillsdale to wrap up. But, you know, that's going to give them a lot of confidence going into tournaments. And listen, this is a very, very, very good Wayne Dale team, Matt. Do want to thank our partners, Claxton Communications, allowing us to bring you this video stream for tonight. Of course, that being Casey Claxton and Evan Merriman providing the full video stream for tonight. And, of course, our thanks back to the WKLM Sports Central to Dakota Patterson as well. Again, the final score tonight it was uh, Wayne Dale winning at 55-50 over Highland and OT. Wayne Dale. They go to 21-0. They'll have a chance to go to the 22-0 uh, tomorrow night. They'll be playing host to Hillsdale. And then for Highland, they'll drop the 15-7. They snap a five-game winning streak. That will close out their regular season. They'll play in their first tournament game in the, on Thursday, February 17th, the Division Three sectional at Highland as they'll play host to Coshocton. For us, we have boys basketball tomorrow night. We'll be video streaming that. Triway's at West Holmes. Friday, boys basketball. Lexington is at West Holmes. Saturday, boys basketball. Saturday night, IVC Showcase from Claymont. Highland takes on Malvern at 8 o'clock. And also, girls basketball Saturday night has Minerva at West Holmes as well. Check out our broadcast schedule on our website at WKLMFM.com. Click on the On Air tab. For Troy Fritz, I am Matt Croy. Special thanks again. A reminder to stick around after the game for high school scoreboard. We have all the area scores for you over 15 minutes all the way until midnight. Again, the final tonight. It was Wayne Dale 55, Highland 50 in overtime. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball from WKLM FM 95.3. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.